Hello and welcome back to the second video tutorial of how to on how to work with Katma. My name is Mario Gandra and this is a series of video for the workshop 2023. So in this video we are going to create a project and add a document to, to this project, the document that we, we are going to analyze. So let's go. Just click here. I'm already on the dashboard of Katma. I'm already logged in. So just click on create new project and uh, a, a window opens and you can uh, type the name uh, test project and the uh, short description of this project of yours. For example, uh, uh, my, my master thesis or something like that. I'm just going to to write test for workshop 2023. So let's go. Okay, the project's being created by the system. And now you have here on the screen, okay, the, the project with the name on the, 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 the white stripe here and the, the, the short description in the, the box, the gray area. So you can obviously de delete this project or you can edit the project. You can then edit the, the name or the description of the project. Okay, since you created the project, you can now uh, click on it to enter the project. As you can see, the dashboard screen is now changed. Now you are inside your project. The name of the project is here on this blue ribbon on the top of the screen, test project. And uh, you can see that the lateral menu is now activated. So you can browse over the, the menu options, tags, annotation, analyze, okay? But let's come back here to the project menu. And here you have this, uh, these uh, three boxes. If you are not seeing the third one, the team, team box, you can scroll your, your window, scroll the screen down, and you'll be able to access this box. But today, in this video, we are only going to, to use the first box, the documents and annotations. So this is the box where you, use, you can uh, insert a document, a text, to your project. So let's do this. Click on the plus button, click on add document, and from here, you can upload a file from your computer or you can add a URL from a website where your text is. Um, so you have these this two options, but let's use the upload from your computer. Okay, I'll select this file here, Oh Captain, My Captain. It's a poem by Walt Whitman. As I select, the, it recognizes the type of document and okay, it's here, let's continue. Now in this, this screen, you can um, inspect the content of, your of the file that you uploaded. So you can preview the, the text here. You can see it's, it retains the structure of the poem. Okay, you can see also that the that Katma has detected the, the language of the text, so as English. But if you're not satisfied with this, you can click here on the three dots and choose to set the language manually. You have some options here. But the usually, almost always, the, the, the detection, the automatic detection by Katma is very accurate. So let's continue. Uh, here you can set some metadata for your text for your document. For example, uh, you can uh, add the author here and etc. Publisher and description. And when you click continue, you have one last uh, option, which is to create an annotation collection. So annotation collection, it's like a notebook where your annotations on the text on the, the document will be saved. Uh, so for example, if you are um, working with a partner, a research partner, 
you can create an annotation collection for you and an annotation collection for for them uh, here you can enter a pattern to generate collection names for example it's using title the title of the, the document so o oh captain my captain by walt whitman and the four annotations but you can change that for for example your name so it changes automatically or you can change the whole uh, the whole name so for example Mario's annotations and there it is if I click finish then we are we, we, we have added the, the, the text uh, uh, for to your project but before I do that I want to, to show you something else so let's get back and back and back Okay, so as you can see here, I can add uh, a document as a, a Word document, a text document, doc, uh, dot, docx, for example, or I can even upload a spreadsheet document. As you can see, it recognizes I, I have made this, this document, this file, using the text from, from the poem so it detects both i can see the first one here uh, the the text one and the spreadsheet here as you can see the structure is not perfect but but you have the text there so the system is able to to capture the text and and add it to to the, the to the to the project okay so let's continue oh continue again and it's using again the the pattern that i have established for annotation um, collections okay so mario's annotations for this first file and mario's annotations for the this other option let's finish this and now okay it has imported both documents and you have both of them here and you have also the annotation collections okay uh, you can um, edit this or delete this as you wish you have to first click here to show to show the the selection boxes and for example oh i already have this text i don't need this so you can click here or uh, you don't want this annotation collection here and you click on the three dots you can delete the document or collection whatever is selected here so let's delete this and now it's deleted you can edit this one for example okay you can edit the title you can add metadata uh, as i told you before and uh, the responsible members but in this project we only have myself so i'm the only responsible member for this this document okay or you can also delete this let's delete them okay so now we have here this document and this annotation collection if you are working with a team on this project uh, we are going to learn this on the next video how to add team members but if you have uh, team members you can create other collections for example uh, let's uh, add a collection oh i have first me first i need to select the select the text now add annotation collection so it knows that you are adding an annotation collection to this document to this text so let's call it partners annotation okay let's see okay so now we have two annotation collections and this will be important if you are working with team members because now each member can work on their own collection don't their own annotation collection so the, the the analysis won't mix up and you can uh, further compare the analysis compare the, the the tagging and annotation 
okay so for this video that's it I uh, hope you, you learned if you have any question just let me know and I see you in the next video bye bye